COVID-19 vaccines are said to be tested on children and potentially even newborns. AstraZeneca, which produces the Oxford vaccine, says it is expanding trials to children as young as six, and the Mail on Sunday can reveal that fellow vaccine maker Janssen, part of Johnson & Johnson, is now looking into testing on newborn babies and even pregnant women. Janssen last month revealed trials in adults showed a single-dose COVID vaccine is 66% effective in preventing coronavirus. Plus 2 and get equals I to 98C5402 CAF 6684SRC equals HTTPS colon slash slash I dot daily mail dot co dot UK slash 1S slash 2021 slash 02 slash 14 slash 00 slash 39261006925820 and a J8 underscore 1 trillion 613 billion 262 million 750,794. JPG height equals 444 width equals 634 alt equals class equals black border and share, greater than copy link to paste in your message. Skip it will initially extend trials to teenagers. Share this article share if the jab is effective in them, it will gradually test it on younger and younger children. Hanukkah Oudemacher, who is head of viral vaccine discovery at Janssen, said discussions had begun to approve studies into the vaccine's effects on 16 and 17-year-olds and after that we will go further down to 12-year-olds but even to newborns at a certain point if all goes well. Plus 2 and get equals I 3498C 4095A 53A 491SRC equals HTTPS colon slash slash I dot daily mail dot co dot UK slash 1S slash 2021 slash 02 slash 14 slash 00 slash 39261004925820 image A9 underscore 1 trillion 613 billion 262 million 756,242. JPG height equals 423 width equals 634 alt equals class equals black border and share, greater than copy link to paste in your message the trials are likely to take place in the US and Canada. AstraZeneca said a trial will begin this month on 300 volunteers aged 6 to 17 in Oxford, London, Southampton, and Bristol. Oxford Vaccine Chief Professor Andrew Pollard said, It is important to establish the safety and immune response to the vaccine in children and young people as some children may benefit. A licensed jab for children could be available by the end of the year.